Yo, what is up, guys? Today is day three of Gut Mist. Today I am here with my sis. We are going to be making Sprite Cranberry Cookies. That's gonna be busting. It's gonna be so busting your... Okay. So basically, some of our friends suggested that I made Sprite Cranberry Cookies for my cookie series. I made a meal. So I made them. They came out a little weird, like the coloring of it, kind of like, I don't really know what happened. I think something that has to do with like science. But like the lemon zest or the lime zest made the cookies turn out to like a grayish color. But we also add Sprite Cranberry Glaze, which we're gonna make today. Ooh. Some behind the scenes. That's um, gonna be good. <laughs> so anyway, um, that kind of makes the cookies look pretty. And then Xavier suggested to do some green sprinkles that match the color of Sprite. So that also adds some sparkle. So yep. So we have the cookie dough pre-made already because we made these, or she made these in the past for her blog. If you want to check that out, click the top right corner of her channel. She makes cookies all the time. Wistfully blessed. They're so bussin'. See it? <laughs> okay, he normally doesn't say bussin' that much. So, we have to put the balls of cookie dough onto the pan, onto a baking sheet, if you really want to get professional. And you have to get okay. some parchment wax paper flavors. Nope, not wax paper, wax paper melts. Uh, parchment paper. And you just lather it onto the baking sheet, and then you put three, six, seven, eight, you put eight cookie balls onto the baking sheet. And then you bake it in the oven. We're gonna show you how we do that. Put it in the oven. Make sure you preheat your oven to 350 before you do anything. And we'll have the recipe down in the description. I'll put her blog so you can go make these if you want to. So now we have to slip them into the oven and wait. How many minutes? Probably like eight to 10 to 12. It just depends on how hot your oven 10. is. 10, that's in between eight and 12. And you yep. said eight to 12 to 10, eight to 12. So that means 10 minutes. While we're waiting on the You start with eight, then you add two minutes if you need it. And then if it's still not done, you add two more. Yep. So now we're going to make the bussin glaze. It's not that bussin, it's kind yeah, of- Yeah, it's bussin because it's made busy. with Sprite Cranberry. Want a Sprite Cranberry? All right, guys, so we're starting with the Sprite Cranberry Glaze. You only need two ingredients, which is? Sprite Cranberry. It used to be just Sprite Cranberry, but now it's Winter Spice. They jacked it all up. And you want the, if you have the OG bottle, I'll buy it from you. And the powdered sugar. I have this from Florida Crystals. I love this brand. Not because they're a client. I just love it. Um, but it's almost gone, so. What'd you say? So you just put that in there. What is this? So we have to get this powdered sugar. Oh, we already, why do you have like four powdered sugars? I'm getting, I'm finishing some off that I didn't yet. You can tell she's a baker. She has a whole cabinet, sugars and powdered sugars and chocolate chips and Wait, grab my chocolate chip box. It's on the second shelf. I just organized it. Oh. That's my box of like chocolate chips, Hershey Kisses, M&M's, and these. And there's a bag right there of ones that are already open. <laughs> Gotta be prepared. Oh my. So you get the powdered sugar, Martha Stewart's just a little, <laughs> a little. Okay, how many cups? Uh, probably like between a half cup and a cup. Um, that should be good. It's good. I want an extra. Um, Powdery. We don't really need that many actually because we're only making a little bit of cookies. Okay. So wait, you, wait. No, whatever. You get no. You get the can of Sprite cranberry. I thought I said that Sprite canberry. You flick it so it doesn't explode. You don't tap the top. That's a myth. You flick the side. I'll shake it. No, I mean flick the tap the side. And nothing will happen. Okay. Did you even shake it before to improve? Yes. You okay. flick the side, not tap the top. Shake it and flick the side. A little bit. A little bit. He didn't listen. All right. Hopefully that's good. You just add a little bit of Sprite. No, you See? add a lot. 
Now we're gonna have to add more uh, uh, sugar. No, -uh, it's perfect. You all just right. you mix it up, get all that glaze nice and cranberry spray. Yeah. <sighs> Looks so delish. Don't drink my spiked cranberry. If have you guys ever been to Bucky's? Comment down below if you've been to Bucky's. Bucky's is bucking, bussing. Oh, okay. So the cool thing about this glaze, you want it to be about that consistency so it's not thick, but it's not like dripping. Like, it's still dripping, but it's like not watery, if that makes sense. Um, and that's the, <coughs> are you kidding me? That's the perfect, <sighs> gotta get a quick towel. That's the perfect consistency for your glaze to go over your cookies. Clean it up later. For your cookies and it makes it like harden just a little bit which you want for your glaze this is our top blizzard oh blizzard eat drink the spray drink the spray hey this I'm is gonna be choppy. this is gonna be really fun for him to edit pretty fun so now that we made the sprite cranberry Great. sauce all we have to do is wait for the cookies to be done there's about five minutes left and then we'll show you how to lather it up with the glaze, add some sprinkles, do all the goodies. Okay guys, so the cookies just came out of the oven for the first, first round and they're not perfectly round. So I like using a little circle cookie cutter to make them round. And then, I'll, probably, and then I'll put them back in the oven for another one minute maybe, just so the middles can get a little bit more baked, but then the cookies are, Nice and uniform and ready to be drizzled with glaze. Alright, that's it. So we just whipped them out of the oven. And we have to put the glaze on. But we have to let them cool down for just a moment. So, in the meantime, I'm just gonna... Just a moment. Oh! Just a moment. What Cassie is doing right now is getting the cookies off the baking sheet and just whapping them right onto this little thing so they cool down. So then we can lather them up with the glaze. You can't. So now they cool down for a couple minutes. We're gonna lather them up with the epic glaze. So let's move the Sprite Cranberry and just grab this glaze. Cassie has it. She's gonna demonstrate and then I'm just gonna lather them up. So basically what you want to do is, since the glaze is pretty like liquidy, you want to make sure that when you're drizzling the glaze, it's not like super close to each other or it will like melt into each other and be too much. So I like to add like a little bit of space in between and then I just drizzle it on. And the reason you want to let them cool is because you don't want it to melt into the cookies. So if you notice that's melting, just let the cookies cool for a couple more minutes. So we let them cool down for just a little bit longer, just so that the like glaze doesn't like melt on the cookies. Cause we want it to be thick enough so that it keeps its shape, but not like spreads kind of like this one did. We kind of want it to be like strands. Yeah, but you can obviously do it however you want. Just yeah. mix it up a little bit. Yeah. So, ooh, they're on the bottom. You. I would do, not do it as fast and do longer strips. Yeah, that's better. Uh oh. So you just lather it up. Just lather this bad boy up. Just lather it up. Don't get it everywhere. Just. Okay. All right. That's all the glaze. I guess we did make the right amount. Okay, so once the glaze has set just a little bit, um, we got green standing sugar, green sprinkles. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we're just going to put that on top of the cookies. Yeah, so you just grab a big old... You want to make sure the glaze is still a little bit wet, but not too much where it like bleeds into it. But also, this is optional. Don't want to add too many. Alright, these look so fun.
So now that they've set and we put all the little sprinkles on it and drizzled all of the whatever it is glaze with the spiked cranberry, now all we have to do is try it. Is it bussin' or is it butchin'? It looks like the bottom's got a little too crispy on these. Okay. Mm. Mm. They're actually so good. I just. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> um. They definitely taste like a sugar cookie vibe with lots of citrus and cranberry. Um. I'm not getting like fizzy Sprite, but obviously it's a cookie, so. What would you rate it? I don't know, maybe like a, I wish there was more Sprite flavor. Fun! Of... <laughs> I was kidding, I was I kidding. Try it. I was kidding, no, no. Oh, bumps it up to a 9.7. Dang it. I was gonna give these to the friends that asked for them. You still can. I'll probably give them a 6.5 to 7 out of 10 just because it's a good cookie. But it's a definitely unique flavor, and I'm a chocolate girl, so I'm very picky with my desserts, even though I made these, but yeah. I'd probably say an 8.1 out of 10, just because LeBron James. <laughs> Want a Sprite Cranberry? I got. It's never gonna give you up.